What's going on guys? So tomorrow is the day. I'm turning in this charger, okay? I'm about to go and do the Lyft Express rental program. So I'm getting a car that is about $350 to $400, okay? It's an EV vehicle. But if you do a certain amount of Lyft rides, you get 150 up to 150 off. So with that discount, it drops the price to 225 to $250. So right now I'm paying about $1,000 for this charger that I'm in, okay? Um, with the company I'm renting from, you have this charger and you have like $100 less a month, it takes you down to like a small, like Prius, whatever um, type of type of vehicle. And then you go to, and actually not a Prius because they don't do hybrids, they just do like the four Fiestas, you know, small cars. And then you have um, next level up trucks. So, I spend about in gas doing this full time. I'll be spending about seven fifty to eight hundred dollars in gas, and then my insurance is about two to two fifty. It's like two twenty eight or something like that. But my cost of the car doing this full time is about two thousand dollars. So now, if I go and I go to route with Lyft Express Drive program, the car is going to be about a thousand dollars a month at cost, which includes insurance. Then my um, charge fee, which is AKA um, gas alternative, will be about $400 a month. The same uh, mileage as a car or putting um, gas in the car with the same amount of mileage, okay? So me doing $800 on gas with this charger, I'll be doing 400 in charge money with that um, Polestar. Now I'm gonna put a video above, show you guys what this Polestar looks like. Um, I don't really care about the look. I did see a guy at a Walmart parking lot. He had one, I'm like, oh my God, this car's cool. This is freaking dope. And I looked at it, let me look inside, and it was freaking nice. Um, and he said that he makes good money. I think I told y'all that before. He said that he works maybe 30 hours a week and he's able to hit $1,000 in LA market area. So I'm like, that's impossible because I've been doing lift and it's been absolutely disgusting. But you factor that car cost is only forty dollars per day. Okay, that's with, with um you burning through two hundred fifty miles. So you figure about forty dollars per day. Now I know a lot of you guys like the math don't add up. Um, he may have had he said forty dollars a day, of course, but he may have had that pass that you pay and you get unlimited charging for like a month. So he probably had to pass, but he told me that with, with everything said, he spends about $40 per day, about $1,200 to $1,300 a month, and that gives him enough um, to make, uh, he said $1,500, $1,600, okay, um, um, week. So I'm like impossible once again. So you guys let me know in the comments below. If you're in LA area, let me know if that's even possible to hit. And then if you are in... Um, a Polestar, you're in a EV vehicle, preferably if you rent it through the, um, the um, brain freeze guys, the Hertz program with Lyft, let me know if it works for you. Because my thing is this, if I can turn this charger in and that Polestar, I did see the spaces that's in that vehicle, it is small, but I, I'm used to a Ford Fiesta. I drove that in Vegas back in 2016 15 whatever i drove that car i actually lived in the car for like three or four months i made it work so i think the size won't be a big issue because of the fact it does have a lot of electronical um, um gadgets whatever that look like they'll be fun and i guess the drive is different than a gas powered car you know it's like boom like as soon as you put hit that gas it's like you're flying so i think that'd be fun and i think it just looks like a cool car so I know a lot of people are gonna be thinking that I'm making a crazy decision, another crazy decision, but hey, I'm gonna try it out because I don't see too many videos of people trying out the um, Express Drive program with Lyft. Um, and if a lot of people have done it, they're not doing reviews, not talking about it. So I'm gonna come on and tomorrow I'm gonna start talking about the program and tell you guys what I like about it, what I don't like about it. I'm still waiting on Lyft to respond to my message. I'm, I reached out to ask if they lowered a rate based on you renting the vehicle. I've been told that's a thing, but I know they have to put it in writing. I didn't see it in the contract at all. So if they're doing that, that's shady. And if it's not in the contract, then I can sue them because that rate that is in our um, contract, driving through Lyft is the rate you're supposed to get. So if I work a whole week and they um, don't pay me that rate that I was expecting, then 
that's a lawsuit. So I'm pretty sure they're covering, they're covering herself because that's just a known thing, I guess. From what I've seen on Reddit, a lot of people have said that they take more money out to give you less of a mileage rate if you're driving a rental. But me looking at, at Reddit, I see more people happy and talking about how they make way more money with this rental program than people not making money. And what I mean by that is I see more people talking about they're hitting $20 plus an hour. Now I know when I was doing Lyft with this charger, I wasn't able to hit those numbers. I was averaging $13, $14 an hour unless there was a streak going on. So I'm hoping that when I get reactivated with Lyft, I'm able to um, get and hit those streaks because those streaks is the bread and butter. Um, and if I'm able to hit those, I'm pretty sure I can do you know over $20 an hour. And I've seen drivers who tried to humble, humbly brag they posted that they made a total of like $1,600 and after rental fees, they walked away with like $1,300 and like 67 hours of driving, which it's brutal, but it's doable. You can do 67 hours, you know, you do, you know, just say you do five, um, 12 hour shifts, okay? And just try to get a few hours in between. Um, I wouldn't really abuse myself that much but at the same time i'm on a grind i got some big dreams some big goals that i'm trying to reach now out here in la so i might do those 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 numbers i might you know just do lift until i get drowsy you know and then call it a day but then you have spark doordash and grubhub now that would be other options when doordash is or when lift is not hitting so with that said if you have done the program put it in the comments below let me know how it worked out for you um, those financial gurus, I don't know if Tristan Thompson, Money Talk, if he's still on here, but if he's on here, let me know if, you, if this makes financial sense to do. Um, if I'm putting myself back in another hole that, I'm, um, that I can avoid because it ain't, I don't have to do it for sure. I don't have to do it. I can cancel the reservation right now, but I'm going to give it a one week try because I don't see, I see one guy that did a review. He's the only guy that did a review on the best car that Hertz offer for EV because Tesla's is Uber. So their best car with EV is um, the Polestar. He, the only one that did a review. So I'm gonna do a real review and I'm gonna get straight to the point of how much charging cost, um, how much of a difference you get in tips. I'm gonna do a whole full review on that car as soon as I get it, okay? And hopefully that car is life-changing in regards to me doing ride share because you figure the charge price is so low that I might get a, a ride that's like freaking 200 miles one way. And you know, that's 400 total miles, but if that ride is paying me $300. Normally I wouldn't take that, that'd be disgusting. But you figure 400 miles would take you give or take, uh, might be about eight hours of total driving. Let's see, let's, fact, let's figure that out, okay? We got 200 miles, we'll probably take about, yeah, about four hours. So that's eight hours of driving. You make $300. I mean, that's roughly what? That's a little, little more than $30 an hour. You know, let's just say $34 an hour. Your EV costs so low that you can get that like fill up or um, charge up um, for like $32, $33. So you figure you make $270. So you're making, you're still making a little over $30 an hour and it's just nonstop driving you gotta do, but that's your shift, you're done. So I might take some of those those um, rides because, hey, I'm not paying gas. Because if I did it with this vehicle that I'm in right now, now I'm in the hole because you figure your your average gas uh, price, like for this one, I'm getting about 20 miles. So you figure 20 miles um, a gallon at what, $4 a gallon average. So that means I'm paying about 20 cent per mile. So if you're only getting 60, seven you know you're only in 67 cents per mile 69 cents per mile you're paying 40 of that cent in gas now you're making 27 cents per mile so that means that same trip would be about give or take what 74 dollars total you make driving eight hours freaking disgusting but it's different once again with the ev because you know you're, you're cutting your cost almost in half but it just all depends once again so let me get off here. Let me stop rambling. That's what I got planned for tomorrow. I'm going to do a review on that vehicle. If they don't have that vehicle, I'm not renting because they tried to point out some small freaking, um, some, you know, small, I forgot the name of them, but um, 
um, Evos or EVs. I don't know what they're called. They're just tiny cars. I'm not doing that. Like, he's looking at me. Like, dude, I'm 6'3", and you think I'm going to get in this little tiny car? Like, I'm going to be stuck like this the whole time. So, hopefully, they don't play me like that. Um, some of these hurts be shady, and they'll, like, try to give you a car to, so you don't do it because they'd rather you not do it if they think you're going to, like, be a bad runner. They're kind of racist in regards to that. That dude, no, I'm not taking that little car. And I saw, like, two pole stars there. So, we're going to see... Um, what he says but that's all i got for this video once again leave a comment in below if you've done the rental in los angeles if you've rented a pole star before let me know how it worked for you but that's all i got for now i'm out peace